if you're a long-time member of the Walrus Clan and you're not one of those dirty miscreants that clicks off our videos the second the number one entry is done, yes we know who you are, you'll know that we're always asking you to tell us about stuff we've missed off our lists down below. And that's why we've trawled through the murky depths of the comment section of one of our previous videos, 10 Best Character Creators in Video Games, <laughs> link in the description, nice plug, to bring you a list that has been inspired by you, the people. For this list, we're looking once again at games with brilliant character creation suites. Those titles that allow the player to get creative with their appearance, conjure up the craziest protagonist possible, and don the funkiest and freshest garb that virtual money can buy. So, I'm Peter from Triple Jump, and here are 10 more great character creators in video games. Number 10. Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 if, like me, you're not overly familiar with sports ball, you probably haven't invested much time in the PES series, which I maintain should definitely be called Pro Evolution Football, but then again, I suppose PEF doesn't sound as cool when you say it out loud. I'm told by my more laddish friends, though, that PES has a pretty sweet character creation uh, sweet. Choose from a wide variety of preset footy lads and then adjust and tweak their features to your heart's content. Unfortunately though, you are restricted by such ridiculousness as having to give your character human-like features. <laughs> About the weirdest thing on offer is a funky coloured beard, but let's face it, any hipster within walking distance of their local boots can do that. In all honesty, I'd be far more inclined to head down to St James's Park and toot my Vuvuzela if I thought Alan Shearer would rock up with a bright green afro and eye patch. D Alan Shearer still plays for Newcastle, right? Right? Number 9. Dragon's Dogma. What's more fun than a bit of old hack and slash, eh? Hack and slash with dragons and climbable cyclopses, that's what. Released back in 2012 and drawing inspiration from the likes of The Elder Scrolls and Fable 2, Dragon's Dogma takes players back to ye olden days to have a lovely time defending the realm from the aforementioned pesky lizards. You play as the Arisen, the chosen one destined to face off against the dragon and prevent the looming apocalypse. But if you're going to be battling dragons, you're going to want a character that looks the part. Choose from reams of facial feature options and hairstyles, tweak the sliders to give yourself that perfect bod, and slap on some war paint to make yourself look truly terrifying. Additionally, Dragon's Dogma also allows you to use the same creators to design your own pawn, a supporting character that assists you throughout your quest. You can even share your pawns online, and there's some great fun to be had from dreaming up some very interesting beings. Although arguably not as sophisticated as some of the other titles on this list when it comes to character creation, you are given plenty of options so you can create a hero in your own image or that of your favourite fictional character or celebrity, and for that reason we believe it is well deserving of a spot in our top 10. Or top 20 if you include both lists together. <laughs> Number 8. Mortal Kombat Armageddon if you've played Mortal Kombat before, and if you haven't, what are you waiting for? You'll know just how much squishy, gore-filled fun there is to be had from slicing off Sub-Zero's face or taking a selfie with a jawless Johnny Cage. Ah, oh, memories. A slight step away from tradition, however, was the seventh entry into the Mortal Kombat franchise, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, which subverted player expectations by allowing them to not only pick from a whole bunch of fan-favourite characters from previous titles, but also to dream up their very own meat stick to send into the arena. If you're looking for endless sliders or the ability to shift your navel half a millimetre to the right, then this game isn't for you. But if you're looking for a wee dash of creative fun in your Mortal Kombat cocktail, then MK Armageddon will be right up your alley. Choose from a small, medium or large fighter, then mix and match different faces, hairdos, helmets, tops, bottoms and shoes before really amping things up by personalising your fighting style. Because after all said and done, if you've not got a sweet fatality at the end of it all, what's the point in even bothering with Mortal Kombat? I don't care what you look like. 
Number 7. South Park – The Fractured But Whole The follow-up to the highly successful South Park – The Stick of Truth, The Fractured But Whole – or The Fractured But Whole if you're really serious about this – sees our favourite foul-mouthed preteens setting aside their wizard robes and princess costumes, and instead suiting up to become their fan-favourite superhero alter egos. Playing as The New Kid – the same nameless silent protagonist from the previous game – means that you get to create your very own round-headed 2D superhero. Although slightly confined by the traditional South Park art style in terms of your height and body shape, that's pretty much where the restrictions end. Start out by picking your class and then choose from a library of makeup, facial hair and hairstyles before heading out into the world and collecting a plethora of snazzy outfits. Mix and match your colour customizable tops and accessories, tack on a beard and a face mask, or give yourself a wacky hairdo, all to create a character that's anywhere between kick ass and looking like you're about to get your ass kicked. Probably the latter, in my case. Number 6. City of Heroes we're heading all the way back to 2004 for this entry, for a lesson in how to not only make a cool looking character, but how to give their life a bit of meaning and history as well. The original City of Heroes servers shut down back in 2012, but some clever clogs have managed to manipulate the source code – no, not that film with Jake Gyllenhaal – to allow new servers to run, so players can once again enjoy this wonderful MMORPG that barely ran on my computer back in the day. But I tried. Ugh. 15 FPS. Start off by choosing one of several origins, including science, mutation, or natural like Batman, I guess, then pick your style, archetype and powers before moving on to that all-important superhero physique and outfit. Several sliders and build buttons allow you to customise your body, and you can pick from a number of preset costume options, all with full colour customization to really make your hero your own. A special mention should also go out to its sequel, City of Villains, for basically allowing you to do all the same stuff I've just mentioned, with just a little more evil. <laughs> oh, that's that's the best evil laugh I can do for you. Sh should we move on? Number 5. WWE 2K19 You guys turned out in droves – well at least two of you turned out anyway – to tell us what a set of wazzocks we were for being partnered with Cultaholic and yet not including any of the WWE games on our previous list. I think it goes without saying that we were unwilling to consider WWE 2K20 because of, well you know, what a horrible buggy mess it was, but we are happy to include WWE 2K19 in in the ranks of excellent character creators. With 2K19, players can spend a good chunk of time customising their wrestler, making them as attractive or unconventional as they fancy. You can pick your character's height, weight, the appearance of veins on their body, and even the amount of body oil they cover themselves in. You also have the ability to select from a handful of skin-tight outfits before customising your moves and presentation. Overall, WWE 2K19 delivers a nice little character creator, and the only issue we had with putting it on this list was whether to pick it over one of its equally deserving brethren. I'm sure you'll let us know once again in the comment section below if we pick the wrong one. Number 4. Star Trek Online Well beam me up Scotty and call me Captain Kirk, because this game has some fantastic character customization. Do you want any more Star Trek references? Um, oh, Vulcans. <coughs> My pop culture expertise aside, Star Trek Online is a great MMORPG for fans of the franchise. Set in the 25th century, about 30 years after the events of Star Trek Nemesis, players are thrust into the middle of an intergalactic war, but not before having the chance to create themselves a fancy character to play with. Choose from one of six different factions – I'm not going to pretend I understand what any of them are – and pick a career, then go wild find tuning your appearance. If spending hours on creating a character isn't really your bag – in which case I'm not really sure why you're watching this video – you can simply choose from a whole load of preset items. But if it is your thing, you can spend a very long time dreaming up your perfect intergalactic pal. Star Trek Online clearly heard that you all like sliders, because it allows you to tweak anything from skin type to foot size and everything in between. And you know what they say about Vulcans with big feet. 
Yeah, big big Vulcan socks, obviously. That's not what you were thinking, jeez. Number three, Neo 2. Taking place for the most part prior to the events of the original game, Neo 2 follows the story of a character named Hide, a half-yokai on a mission to reunite a war-torn Japan. Unlike the original Neo, which came with a preordained protagonist, Neo 2 allows players to create their own hero, which is an excellent cherry on top of the delicious ice cream sundae that is this game. Before you jump into the rich, complex narrative, or begin dispatching hostile spirits with reckless abandon, you should spend a little bit of time making Hide your own. Each individual asset has a wide variety of editable options, so you could start with the same basic details and still end up with a completely different looking character after tweaking each individual component. Pick out a hairstyle and you can change the length, colour and even how curly it is, slap on some makeup and find your perfect eyeshadow shade using the custom colour picker. You can even change the colour of your teeth if you would like. Not sure why you'd want to, but you know, it's comforting to know that you can. Number 2. Ark Survival Evolved if you've never played Ark before, I highly recommend you pick it up and give it a go. Not only for its excellent character creator, which we'll talk about in a moment of course, but also for the epic amounts of fun to be had. Explore the prehistoric land, gather materials, tame some dinos and build yourself a base to keep them all in. Then have a little cry when you next log on and realise your mates have raided you while you were offline. I know it was you James, give me back my stuff! Anyway, on to business, because <laughs> you guessed it, Ark Survival allows you to create your very own character with which to traverse the Jurassic landscape. Though we've seen sliders and colour pickers aplenty in many of these entries, what we haven't seen is ones that take things to quite the same extremes as Ark does. Whilst you can create a perfectly normal looking human being if you really want to, you absolutely do not have to. Why not give yourself massive bulky forearms or freakishly long legs? Eggs, or maybe a jacked chest with a tiny baby head. Or, here's an idea, just something that won't give me nightmares. <laughs> How about that? And number one, Code Vein. Do you remember in the last video when we said that Black Desert Online had character customizations so varied and shocking that we needed to have a little lie down? <laughs> well, several of you told us that if there was ever a game deserving of a hold my beer moment in the character creation department, it's Code Vein. Although the augmentation options are probably not quite comparable to Black Desert Online, or at least certainly not in our writer's opinion, you do have far more creative control over your look as a whole. Start by choosing from a bunch of preset characters, and then go to absolute town on everything from your skin colour and hairstyle, to the scars upon your mug and the clothes you kit yourself out in. You can choose to be dark and brooding, wacky and weird, spooky and otherworldly, or any combination of the three, decking out your character in a variety of finery that truly allows you to convey your personality. Because you know what else would set off all these leather straps? Some cat ears, or maybe a golden crown, or an eye patch. Gosh, there are so many options. I think I need another lie down. And that's our list. Although it's mathematically impossible, if you do have any more suggestions for games with great character creators, then please do let us know about them in the comments section below. You can follow myself on Triple Jump on Twitter here, and if you want to support the things you enjoy, then check out the rewards on our Patreon. Finally, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I've been Peter from Triple Jump, and thanks for watching.